My name is Anusha Specha, and I would like to present to you all today my project, Mad Men on a Journey, a comparison of Homer's Odyssey and the science fiction series, Doctor Who. Now, given that the title of this project is rather self-explanatory, I would like to quickly explain to you how it is that I came to my topic. My goal was to compare a very old piece of literature with something completely unequivocally modern. What finally led me to the comparison of the Odyssey and a modern television series was the fact that I discovered a parallel between books 9 through 12 of the Odyssey with the, in modern television, commonly used Monster of the Week formula. This allowed me to um, formulate my hypothesis. There are parallels between the Odyssey and Doctor Who, and the uh, mentioned parallel is one that is also discussed in my paper itself. Now, for context of the two works that I compared, the Odyssey is the second oldest Western work of literature, and it was written in the 8th century BC by Homer, though, of course, the Homeric question is one of great academic debate. And it is to this day one of the most influential works of fiction ever written. Now, on the other side of the equation, we have Doctor Who. Now, Doctor Who is a British science fiction series, first produced by the BBC in 1963 and still airing to this day. It has become very influential and is a cornerstone of British pop culture. Uh, the show tells tale of the Doctor, the titular main character, who is a time-traveling alien who travels through time and space with companions and saves the day, a person, a place, a planet, the world, stories of that ilk. Now, through my project, I found truly many parallels between these two works, which I divided into three main chapters. I, um, the first of these chapters, Parallels in Creation, discusses similarities between the contexts in which both works were first written. Um, the second chapter, Parallels in Content, discusses similarities in the corpora of the actual works, the bodies of work, such as character comparisons. And the third chapter, Parallels in Structure, discusses, for example, the similar or dissimilar, as it were, use of narrative devices in both works. Um, I will present to you all one example out of each of these categories. For an example out of Parallels in Creation, uh, we have that both stories were told over extended and significant periods of time. The Odyssey was sung for presumably centuries before it was ever written by countless different voices. And just in that way, Doctor Who has had, I believe it was more than a hundred writers to this point, different directors. And as you can see in the image on the slide, many different actors, even in the main role. Thus many people have influenced the texts and elements of them have been removed, added, changed or retconned. The fact that these stories were told over such a long period of time also allowed them to gain significant and long-lasting popularity with their respective audiences. Now, as for a parallel in content, I would like to present to you one of my character comparisons, that being the comparison of Athena in case of the Odyssey and the TARDIS in case of Doctor Who. Now, the TARDIS is the spaceship in which the main character of Doctor Who flies through time and space, but she is also a character in her own right. Both of these characters fall into the mentor archetype, and they both have similar relationships to their protagonists. They are the element in the universe that the stories takes, take place in that distinguish their protagonists from every other character in the story. They are always there for, and they always support their respective protagonists. And the fact that their relationship is something special is even acknowledged in the texts themselves. As for example here, in a quote from Nestor about the relationship between Odysseus and Athena. 
I have never seen gods so openly showing affection to a man as when Pallas Athena took her stand at his side for all to see. And also on the slide, you can see a, a screen cap from an episode in which the consciousness of the TARDIS, the spaceship, is transferred into a humanoid body, which allows her to actually openly express the fondness that she has for the Doctor. Now, these two characters are also similar in the regard that they serve a similar narrative function, that being that they are both the goddess and the machine, a deus ex machina. Now, a deus ex machina is a theatrical and literary plot device originating originally in ancient Greece, in which the actor playing a god would come out of the machine, the stage works, to solve whatever plot the main characters were engaged in. Athena and the TARDIS both act as a deus ex machina in multiple occasions and through this save their protagonists. For my parallel in structure, I have chosen the comparison of two devices which at first glance would appear to be medium specific. That being the use of epithets in the Odyssey and that of musical themes or background music in Doctor Who or television in general. Now, epithets are sentence fragments which um, the storytellers use to complete verses. They describe situations, actions, environments, or people. But they can also be specifically used to emphasize an aspect of a scene or character or remind the listener of a different scene in which the same epithet was used. Musical themes serve much a similar function. They can, for example, show us that a character is being particularly heroic in a moment, or they can remind us um, of a different scene in which the same theme was played. Both are storytelling devices that can evoke specific emotions by better describing a situation or recalling a different scene altogether. Now, of course, I found many, many more parallels through this project, and I would like to discuss more of them with you, but I do, we do not have the time. So I would like to leave you all with this. I believe that through this project, a general deeper understanding of both stories and works of fiction in general was gained. And of course, the hypothesis was proven true. There are many parallels between these two epic stories. Homer's influence can be found in many, many modern stories. And the comparison of something so modern with something so ancient has brought me to, I believe, a deeper understanding of storytelling in general. Now, there have been many anthropological stories that hint that telling stories may be one of the fundamental aspects that distinguishes humanity from other species. Telling and hearing stories allows us to give on knowledge and information through time and space themselves. And storytelling is an evolutionary trait. Such a theory is of course supported by the fact that stories conceived now three millennia apart have so many obvious similarities. We still like and are enraptured by the same kinds of stories as we were 3000 years ago. And I believe it was an enlightening experience in general to see just to what degree we are linked to our ancestors in such a way. I thank you for your attention. I am available for any questions you may have. And here are the sources of all the images used in the presentation. Uh, shall we proceed? I, I'm sorry yes, for uh, taking up the floor. Uh, well, thank you for your most excellent work. Uh, it was really uh, a wonderful experience to be reading it, and uh, I <coughs> mean it in every possible way. Um, 
my question again might uh, appear uh, not a very uh, academic one, but uh, perhaps you'll turn it in the right way. What is your explanation, if uh, if you have one, for uh, why Doctor Who uh, provingly demonstrated so many parallels? Is it the power of uh, Homer's work? Or is it the specific uh, genre or a specific combination of people who worked? Uh, do you have any, uh, any ideas? Because uh, you did mention that uh, a large amount of uh, modern day um, films or novels or you know, TV series or you name it uh, can be linked to uh, you know, the masterpieces. And yet there must be some, some way to try to understand why uh, some choose to be this way and others do not, or how does it happen? Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, well, thank you very much. And that was a question I did ask myself because in this work, there are truly so many similarities that it almost cannot be uh, believed to be chance. Um, I mean, it's a combination of probably very many factors, most of which we can't possibly even know. But I think the biggest part of it lies in my first chapter of similarities, the parallels in creation. The fact that even though the environments are, if you first look at them, so different, but um, there are that so many, it was written, written by many people, told by many people, um, written over a long period of time. And then the fact that, um, I mean, there are, of course, you, you can argue no story is ever original and there are only, I believe the theory is seven stories in total that are changed and rewritten. Um, and Doctor Who and the Odyssey fall into the same type of story, they are both epics if you remove the definition of an epic that it has to be oral poetry um, which allows them to have a very similar um, framework story-wise and the fact that they have so many similarities in the origin and many voices um, allows there to be so many more comparisons as well but there are truly so many parallels that I believe some of the reasons cannot ever be really explained. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I have one more question? Yes. Um, so th uh, once again, thank you for your work and for your presentation. The question I have is, I think, pretty much close to the one that was uh, uh, just asked, but maybe a little bit different in nuances. So um, what are, can you say, are there any specificity in the relationship, in the parallels between Doctor Who and uh, Odyssey. I mean that there, as you told, there is a genre, there is an epic story, so there is a lot of heroic journeys and science fiction stories. Are there anything in Doctor Who uh, more in common with, Od with the Odyssey than um, compared, I don't know, with uh, some different science fiction uh, story with, uh, um, I don't know, Star Trek or something like that. So. Are there anything specific about Doctor Who regarding uh, its uh, parallel to the Odyssey? Um, well, yes, I do believe the one that comes to mind most is also one that I talked about in my project. It's the focus that Doctor Who has, especially in later seasons, of hinting that there is a goal to the journey, an end goal, and that that goal is through however many perils uh, the doctor needs to go through first, that goal is home. And um, basically all that the doctor has ever done, his whole life story starts on Gallifrey. It involves a big war that the doctor had a big role in ending. And then all of the story since then has been the doctor going through his own odyssey before returning home. And it is I don't remember the exact quote, but there is a quote from the show that specifically states that the doctor's goal is the same as anybody's, that goal is returning home. 